it's going to be how Erdogan reacts and is seen to react and to deliver in this crisis. So far, what is the judgment call on the government's response to the quake? Well, there's a phrase that Reuters used in its headline for the story on this this morning, crescendo of criticism facing Erdogan and his government at the moment. And imagine this. These are, there are thousands of people stuck outside in negative five degrees Celsius temperatures, afraid to go indoors if their homes even exist anymore, if they can even find a place to go. Many of them sleeping in their cars, burning park benches for fuel. Now, Erdogan has made some promises here including he, he is promised to su supply basic things like gas canisters for heating, 10,000 lira to every family, and he's promised to relocate some of the displaced, but this can't come fast enough for him because he is fighting an already tight race for re-election come May. Now, officials tell us, according to Bloomberg sources, that he does want to continue holding the election on May 14th. That was the date he outlined before this disaster. That would be just after the end of a three-month state of emergency in much of the affected areas. Unclear whether he can actually pull that off. But the criticism yeah. of the crisis response, both the, uh, the speed of the response, the uh, some of the changes, the policy changes he's, his government has imposed that have limited the ability of NGOs to operate in this area. And then finally, we've seen a spat with Twitter over the past couple <coughs> hours because access was restricted and an opposition figure appealed to uh, the head of the largest opposition group, appealed to people to use VPNs so that their voices could continue to be heard on the platform.